My kids love fake bars, so let's make a healthier gluten-free version today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where every week we get together in the kitchen and create healthy and delicious recipes that the whole family can enjoy. Today, we're going to be making gluten-free cashew oat fig bars. Begin by adding 13 ounces of roughly chopped up dried figs to a bowl, which is about two and a half to three cups. And as you can see, you don't have to chop them real small. Cover your figs with hot water and then let them sit for about 10 minutes or so just to let the figs soften. Once your figs have softened, strain out the water, but then don't throw away the water as we may need some of it in just a bit. Place your strained figs into your food processor and you should be able to tell right away that they're much softer than they were before. Next, let's add the juice of one half of a lemon. This is just going to brighten up the flavor a bit. Two tablespoons of local honey, maple syrup, or your preferred sweetener. Last, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Pulse your ingredients a few times and then let the processor run until you've reached a spreadable, smooth consistency. You may need to add in some of your fig water one teaspoon at a time, especially if you're using a granulated sweetener. Just a few things. I wouldn't throw away that fig water. I would save it in the refrigerator. You could put it into your smoothies or just when you're going to make oatmeal or something like that because the figs have given it just a little bit of sweetness. And then also you can really play with this filling. You could add in maybe instead of lemon juice, you could use orange juice and add in a little bit of the orange zest to brighten it up that way. Now we're ready to make the crust. In a mixing bowl, you want to add one and a half cups of oat flour. So if you don't have oat flour, it's so simple to make on your own. Just take the same measurement, one and a half cups of oats, place them into your food processor and just let it run until it reaches a flour consistency. That's what I did and it's so easy. Next, I'm going to add one half of a cup of oats just to add in a little bit of texture. One teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt, and it just depends on whether your cashew butter is salted or not. The last ingredient I'm going to add is optional. I'm going to add in two scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder, which is so good in supporting a healthy digestion, your joints, hair, skin, nails, teeth. And I use this all the time in my baking and my morning drinks, so I'm running really low right now. Perfect amount. Whisk together your dry ingredients and then set aside. In a separate mixing bowl, add in one cup of cashew butter or your favorite nut or seed butter. So if you don't have any cashew butter on hand, it's so easy to make your own. It's actually what I just did. You take two cups of roasted cashews, place them in your food processor, and then just let it run until it turns into the cashew butter. It's delicious, super easy, and it'll probably save you a few bucks. Next, let's add in two tablespoons of local honey or maple syrup or your preferred sweetener. So if you're going to use a granulated sweetener, you may need to add in one to two tablespoons of coconut oil just to make sure you have the right consistency. Mix the cashew butter and sweetener together. Then add in your flour mixture and mix again. Line an eight by eight inch pan with parchment paper and spread about three quarters of your cashew butter mixture into the pan. Spread your fig filling over top and last, sprinkle the remaining cashew butter mixture on top. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Let's give these fig bars a taste. I'm going to use a fork just because they're falling apart a little bit without it. That is such a delicious, rich treat. So cashew butter really has this buttery flavor. 
and it makes it so intense when you then add the fig flavor on top. It's so good. And you can eat a lot of these, which is perfect, right? So it's such a healthier version than something you might find in the store. I hope you get creative with it too. You could maybe add in some ginger or orange flavor and play around with that. Maybe use a different gluten-free flour. I hope you get creative and give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, if you give this recipe a try, be sure to let me know how it goes for you in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.